of all the long distance motoring events around Australia, this is to be the longest, fastest and most taxing on cars and competitors. 20,000 kilometres in 14 days around the vast expanse of the world's largest island continent. This is the Repco Reliability Trial. Most of you remember the 1979 Round Australia Repco Reliability Trial and uh, how well Peter Brock and the Holden dealer team went in their three VB Commodores. Um, what a lot of people didn't realise is that Holden also had three backup support vehicles. They're all HZ panel vans. Um, they are factory throw eights. They were loaded up to the gunnels with all the spare wheels, tyres, gearboxes, front ends, you name it, they carried everything. Unfortunately, two of those vehicles uh, didn't make it over the years. Uh, at Grace, we've got a very, very interesting car coming up. It's, one of the, it's the only surviving HDT support vehicle from the 1979 Repco Reliability Trial, and it's only travelled 80,000 kilometres. And just to show Holden's strength and reliability, it is still running the original matching numbers 308 engine. All the interior is still original clean in the car. The guy went through a, a huge expense and spent a lot of time restoring the rest of the vehicle using all genuine Holden parts right through to the front end, uh, to the gearbox, to suspension, uh, rubbers, you name it. Uh, he repainted the van in acrylic, the original white colour. And he even got uh, Wayne King, who was very famous for painting all of Brock's race cars and uh, rally cars, uh, to read all the, the, uh, the sign writing by hand. Um, it's a super special car. It's got a great amount of history with it. We've just done an interview with uh, the original driver of the car that drove it in the, uh, in the rally as a support vehicle. Uh, it also comes with a lot of memorabilia and I think one of the original jackets. So it's, it's a pretty important part of Australian motorsport and Holden and, and, uh, and Peter Brock as well. You know, George Shepard was, uh, was the genius behind running that team, the same as he was in 1995. And he was always particular about how things were put together, how reliable the cars would be, and obviously did the same with the panel vans. Uh, he ran special wheels and tyres on them. Uh, he upgraded all the suspension before the event. And all that's been kept the way it was as per 1979. So it's a great bit of history. Um, if you had a Holden race car that you needed a tow vehicle to take to a motor racing circuit or a historic rally, this would be the ideal car to have. Or if you just uh, want a good promotional vehicle for a company. But it's coming up. Uh, we've got some great footage of it. And just uh, if you want to go to our Grey's YouTube page, you can see one of the videos we did with the, uh, with the original driver, but great bit of Holden history, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So if you'd like to keep up with everything that's happening in our classic car and bike department, why don't you join our Facebook page, Gray's Classics Cars and Bikes.